How to show your photos using Adobe Lightroom Classic with me, Stephen Power from Skelly Green Photography Workshops. Hi. The other day I was asked if I would send someone a selection of images of Valencia Island where I used to live and where I still run workshops. And normally that wouldn't be a problem. I would make a gallery in Lightroom and then upload that gallery to online storage and send a link to the client. The problem is that my current online storage is down so I didn't have any way of doing that or at least so I thought. I've now discovered a way to do that straight from Lightroom Classic and send someone a link and it's very easy, it's very simple and the best bit is that you don't have to buy or rent online storage anymore. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically how to put together a collection of images, put them online using Adobe Lightroom Classic and Adobe Creative Cloud, then send the link to someone. So here I am in the library module so I've got a, a selection of images here, 22 photos, mostly of Valencia Island, and I want to send them to someone. As I said, normally I would do that by going into the web module, making a gallery, uploading that gallery to storage that I'm renting. You might say, well, I don't have online storage. But if you have the photography package from Adobe, which is Lightroom, Photoshop and Creative Cloud, then you do have the facility to share a collection of images with someone who just might like to see them or someone who might like to buy them. And this can be done now without using a third party online storage facility. The first thing we need to do is make sure that all the images are captioned. And you can see I've done most of them. If we look under the library module again, under metadata and the caption for each image is set there. I've got one here just to finish off, which is um, rainbow over a cottage on Valentia Island, County Kerry. Now, I'd actually written that before, so it filled in the rest for me, and that made life simpler. Now, the next thing to do is to create a collection. So I'm gonna do Control A, to select all the images, and then in the left-hand panel, scroll down through the folders to collections and click the plus icon create collection I'll put Valencia images for sale you can of course put anything you want there as long as it makes sense to you click create and now we've made a collection Valencia images for sale I'm going to right click this and find sync with Lightroom and then underneath that Lightroom links come down make collection public. So if we now right click the collection again and go back into Lightroom links we've got three new options that are active. View on web, copy public link and make collection private, which basically means that you can't share it with anyone. Let's try view on web. And if we click that, Lightroom will automatically open the collection online in your browser of choice. This is Firefox. And we've got the name of the collection at the top, Valencia Images for Sale. And all the images has quite large thumbnails. Then if we click on one of the images, we can see the caption that we've put in in the bottom left hand side. 
and you've got some options here to show the activity um, to see if there's any comments and to see if anyone has liked it. It's fairly simple and easy to use. Now we can then, if we want, um, highlight the link here and share that link. Could of course go into tiny URL and make it smaller if you want to do that. Now if we, I'll just close this down and look at the other options in Lightroom. So if we go back and then do copy public link, click that and basically all it's done there is copy the link so we can go in here and right click, paste and go and that brings us back to the album. Of course that link can now be shared with anyone. And that's it really, it's, it's a very simple way of sharing your images with someone that might like to buy them uh, or see them. For me it's made Lightroom galleries somewhat redundant, although there might be times when you want a slightly more sophisticated gallery to show to people. But to be honest, I can't think why. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please subscribe to the channel and leave any comments or questions and maybe tell me how you, you are using this tool in Lightroom Classic to share and to sell your images and the very best of luck with it. See you in the next video.